In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a squad XML. For this, we're just going to need a few things. We need Arma 3 tools, we need a PNG image, and we need an image manipulation software, such as GIMP or Photoshop. For the purposes of this video, I'll be using GIMP. So first, let's get an image. All these are PNG, which is probably the best way to do it. So we'll open up this one right here. Okay, we have our image. Let's scale it. Um, for Squad XML, the image has to be 256 by 256. Anything else, and it will not work. Okay, scale it. Okay, we'll hit export as, and we'll export it. Some other place, and we'll name it. We'll name it New XML, and export it. And make sure when you're exporting, you hit interlacing um, 7. And that you change this right here to PNG. Okay, export. And we can close this out. Then we'll need to open up ARMA 3 tools. To get ARMA 3 tools, just go to Steam, go to the library, and then go to tools right here and download it. It doesn't cost anything. Once you've got it downloaded, we can open it up and go to image to PAA. From there, we can go to the file path where we saved it. Sure, I got it right. Yep. And then we'll hit convert. Depending on how many files you have in there, it may take a while to do so. In the meantime, we can open up. A XML hosting site, so we'll go here and just type in dtclan.co.uk. It looks like it's done converting. Let's go back to the file and make sure it's there. Okay, we have new XML and we have newxml.paa, so we're not going to be able to see it, but it's been updated. Now, one thing we do need to check is go to properties. Yeah, okay, as long as it's under 100 kilobytes, it'll work. So this one's only 34, so we're good to go. From here, go to dtclan. And then make yourself an account and then create a squad. Once you've created a squad, this is uh, your squad page. You can put your squad nickname, which is what will be in brackets, and then your squad name when somebody clicks on it. Get more information. And then down here we have where we place the image, so just hit change and then you can find it through, find it through this directory. And then here we have the player ID and the player name. So in order to get those, we're going to have to open up Arma 3. So let's do that real quick. Okay, from here we'll go to configure, profile, and then select the character which you want to change. So we'll go to edit, and then right here you get the player ID. So just copy and paste this, and then we'll open it up here, and put it in the player ID slot along with the actual profile name of your guy. Once you've done that and updated it, you'll be given the thing called a squad XML link. From there you can just copy and paste the squad XML link. And you put it here in Arma 3 on your squad URL. Hit apply, hit OK, and you'll we'll be good to go. Um, it does take about 10 to 15 minutes for it to upload, but once you've done that, you should have a squad XML that will not have any weird backgrounds. So, like when it's on the side of a vehicle, it'll blend in nicely, be on your shoulder patch, and not just be like a white block behind it because you have an alpha channel, and you can be a special snowflake. Uh, thank you.